Today we're going to talk about GPS coordinates, how to use it with the VRS Superbug. And this picture here is the Derrick County Range in Virginia, which is close to the Oceana KNTU base. If you look at the top, top uh, part of the range, you will see a range that we'll use for our coordinates. What I want to do today is uh, help people uh, understand with this video how uh, the, f the formats of the different GPS coordinates and how it can be used in uh, FSX with the VRS Superbug. Okay, let's get the objectives out of the way. So we're going to learn about different GPS formats and how to convert them. We're going to learn how to use them in VRS Superbug and we're going to enter a GPS coordinate manually in the VRS Superbug. We're going to use an existing one. I'll show you how to find them in the Superbug. And I will give you some steps on how you can enter it in the EMU. I will not show an EMU, but if you go and follow the steps that I will put in here, you'll be able to enter them and then I'll show you the format that it requires. Now, Coordinates can be very useful if you're using GPS type weapons, if you're uh, trying to navigate to a very specific spot, or if you want to set a specific spot as a target, the GPS coordinates will help you achieve that. Okay, so let's uh, get started. Cardinal reference. So there's the globe. Now, there's a latitude, which is at the equator, and that's what determines if a GPS coordinate is north or south. There's also the longitude, which is lined up with the prime meridian, and that's what determines if you're east or west in your GPS coordinate. So far, so good. Now, the GPS format, there's numerous formats. They're expressed in lat long, meaning latitude and longitude. There's different formats, and in general, they're formatting, uh, they're formatted like this. They have the latitude, and it will be either north or south. You will get the degrees, the minutes, and the seconds. And after that, you have the longitude. It will be west or east. And you also have degree, minutes, or second. Now, one thing to take note of, this is the approximate accuracy of one degree, one minute, one second. So if you look at the one second, one second difference is 100 feet in latitude and 60 feet in longitude. You may think, oh, that's not very precise. But once you start seeing the coordinates, they have decimals after the seconds. That means that 0.1 second equates to one f uh, 10 feet whereas uh, 0 .1, 0 0.1 second in longitude equals to 6 feet. And any 0 0.01 second are 1 feet and 0.6 feet. So it could get pretty precise. Here's a working example. I have the part of the DARE range that I talked about earlier. And we're going to look at the dead center of this range. We're going to zoom in. Okay, so we see some building in the center of that range. And using Google Earth, you can actually pin it and get exact coordinates to it. So as you can see, we have the degrees, the minutes, the second, and we also have a decimal after the seconds. So you see how it's uh, very accurate. So if you use that coordinate, you can easily bomb that, that uh, target. Now here's the coordinates that we have, 35, 44, 33, 49, and 75, 51, 31, decimal 15. So those coordinates we will use in the Superbug just to show you how to enter them. Now here's uh, GPS formats. So the top one is what the Superbug uses, the ty that type of format, and that's how you, you would enter it, and we will use that. But there's also other format that's displayed. So if you look at the degrees lat, lat long, you'll see that uh, after the degree there's a decimal. So the decimal 74 
is three quarters of one degree. Uh, if you look at the next one below it, the degrees in minutes, it has uh, the minutes, but it has decimal after the minutes. And there's a third format, which is uh, degrees, minutes, seconds, which is uh, similar to the format that we have, but except, is, except that uh, instead of expressing uh, west with a W, they use a negative 75. So in any case, uh, those are the format that you will encounter, and you sometimes need to convert them from one format to another. For example, the degree lat long is what the MU in your Superbug uses when you use the aircraft manager. So if you know how to convert those, it'd be very helpful. Well, fret not, here it is. You can use this free converter page for GPS coordinates in another format. Simply go to this web page and you'll be able to enter your your uh, GPS coordinates in whatever format you have and it will give you exactly what I'm showing you on the screen here all the other formats for that same coordinate. Now here's the steps to enter a coordinate in an MU. I'll give you a chance to read it. You basically uh, open the Superbug Aircraft Manager, go to the MU section, expand the navigation, I click on the plus sign, and put the coordinates in the desired waypoint and you'll see here you probably have more digits than the MU will accept. So you saw how accurate it is. You can actually round down or round up as needed to, uh, to make it fit in the MU. Click Save. Don't forget to click Save or it will not save the setting. And whatever waypoint you use to put those numbers in, and the Superbug will have your coordinates. Now it's time to get some hands on the Superbug and do some GPS work. And let's start with entering that coordinate now and go into the data page. And you're going to see a button labeled UFC up front control. Click on that. Now it's wanted to have the latitude LT. So our point that we discussed earlier is 35, 44. 3-3, decimal 4-9, and we'll enter, and this was uh, north latitude, enter, and now I want the longitude, longitude was 7-5, five. Five, one. Three, one. One, five. Hit enter, and this time it wants the uh, longitude, the prime meridial is westerly, and enter. Now if you look in the DDI here, you actually have your reference point that we just entered. And since we had waypoint 19 selected, that is the waypoint that's stuck with 19. So if I change, you see how I have no coordinates here. Go back to 19. I now have the coordinates for 19. Now another thing that you can do uh, besides entering manually is you can also uh, take advantage of the GPS page. So if you go on the GPS page you will see here that you have all kinds of entries. You'll notice KNTU. Those are actual airports. See this button here? It says airport. If I click it I get VORs. I can find VORs. I can find non-directional beacon and DBs. I can even I can even find intersections. One thing to remember is here is the range that it will look. So you can click on this here until you get 100, and that's the maximum range you can go. And what you can do then is just uh, either go down one by one to pick the one you want, or you can go one page at a time. So let's pick one. Uh, for example, the KSFQ. Uh, now, let's say I want this to be my waypoint 19. All I have to do when I have it highlighted is just select transfer. And notice how my coordinate changed. Now, if I get out and go back to the HSI, that KSFQ is now my waypoint. 
So you can see how it's easily, uh, you can easily put waypoints in here. You can also uh, use that page and create a whole flight plan manually from here, going from one waypoint to the next, to the next, to the next. So anyways, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and that you now understand uh, GPS uh, coordinates a little bit better and how to use it in the Superbug. If you liked my video, click like and subscribe. Um, more videos to come. It's been a blast. Thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video.